Welcome to SimpleKidsCrafts.com, episode 669, how to make Monster High, Barbie and Wings Club doll size cleaning supplies. Materials, toothbrush and or makeup brush, small plastic containers, wooden dowels, paper clip, foam, felt or kitchen sponges, nail polish, feathers, toothpick, duct tape, pliers, nail file, glue and scissors. Hi, today we're gonna make cleaning supplies and we will start by making a small brush. We will take a regular toothbrush and remove the head of the toothbrush. This will become our small brush. We will take a nail file and then we will file down the sides to give it the shape. We will then take a small piece of foam and shape it to be the handle. We will attach the handle at the top of the toothbrush or the head of the toothbrush and now we are done. If we want to, we can also cut some of the bristles out so that the toothbrush will look more like a real brush. If we do this, these are the end results. As you can see, our brush looks like a real life-size brush. Now to make sponges. To make sponges, we will take a regular size sponge and then cut a small piece of it in the shape of a rectangle. We will then cut out of the sponge to level it out and we are done. To make small magic erasers, you can actually use a magic eraser sponge and then cut a rectangle off of it in this manner. You can use this rectangle as a soap as well or you can use sponges out of the kitchen cabinet and cut them to size and use them as either soaps or sponges. You can also do the same thing by cutting a large rectangle and making them into kitchen rags. To make a trash can, we will simply use a container that already has a lid in it. This is a container of Mentos as you can see and all I have to do is to remove the wrapping that it came with and I'm all done. In order to make a broom, we will use a wooden dowel. We will cut it down to size by the waist of the doll and then we will use either a toothbrush or a makeup brush. We will add a little bit of glue at the top of the brush and then we will attach the wooden dowel. To give it some color, we will use a nail polish. This is not necessary and you can use either the nail polish or you can also use a coloring pencil or a marker. I will use the nail polish to complete the look. And here is our broom all done. To make a mop we will use white thread or yarn. I already have it folded in place so all I have to do is to glue it in. I will glue it in this manner. I will take a little bit of glue and put it on the actual thread itself and then I will attach it to my wooden dowel. The wooden dowel has been cut to the same size as the waist of the doll in the same manner that we cut the wooden dowel for our broom. After this I will attach my little wooden dowel on the back portion of it so that we don't get caught at the top of it and then form the portion of the mop at the top and then I will attach the rest of it by taking the bottom portion of the thread and attaching it to the top and on the side like this and then I will take a little thread and bring everything together at the top. I'll put the thread and go around it several times and then make a knot securing it. After I have done this I can either color the handle of my mop or I can leave it with a natural color. I'll leave it with a natural color since I prefer it this way. I'm gonna remove the excess and then I'm going to cut the bottom of the mop. As you can see we have bundles of yarn in here or thread and I'm going to cut those off and then to make them all the same size I'm going to remove the excess at the tip of the mop in this manner and we are all done. Since we have made the mop, we also need to have a bucket 
and for the bucket I'm going to use a yogurt container. I'm going to remove the excess at the top of the container and then I am going to take a paper clip and form a handle. Then I am going to take my pliers and shape the handle at each end of the tip in this manner so that I can put it inside of my bucket. This is what your handle should look like. You can then make holes on your bucket by using the tip of your scissors on each side, but I prefer to use a hole puncher on each side for safety reasons. I'll make one hole on one side and another hole on the other side. Then I can easily put the handle on each hole and then press upwards so that the handles are secure. And now we have the bucket all done. To make our cleaning supplies cutty, we will cut a small piece of foam. It will be a strip and it will be as wide as the top of our little container. The container is a food container but any container would do. We will then take a small piece to make a handle for our cutty and it should go something like this. We will cut lengthwise and we will cut a strip about the same size of the one that we have cut for the border. We will then attach the foam to the border of our little food container and get it all the way through until the end. Apply a little bit of glue, like so, and then put a bit of glue on the seams so that we can actually attach the handle on one side and then we will put glue on the other side so that we can complete the caddy itself. This looks like a little basket, but it's really to carry all of our cleaning supplies. Now to make paper towels. And to make paper towels, we will use an old roll of paper towel. We will cut a piece of it. We will then fold it. We will remove the excess on the side and then take a little bit of glue and attach it forming a little roll. After we have formed the roll, then we're ready to start cutting a strip of paper by using a real size strip of paper from a paper towel. We will cut it about the same size of our little paper roll. Then we will take a little bit of glue and put it on our roll and then we will attach the paper itself. We will now roll the paper until almost the very end. When we're getting towards the end, we will take a little bit of glue and put it on the roll itself, leaving about half an inch or so on the paper so that it looks like our paper roll is open. And we are all done. Here's a look at our little paper towel. Now we would like to make a duster. And for the duster, we will use a toothpick. We will cut it to size like this and then we will paint the handle. We will paint the handle by using a little bit of nail polish and this is totally optional. We will cover the whole toothpick and then at the tip we will start putting a bit of glue and we will attach feathers. The feathers have to be attached outwards and then to finish it off we will take a small piece of duct tape and wrap it around and we are all done. Well, these are all the crafts for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video, that you share with your friends, and that you try it at home. I will see you in the next video. Bye!